today in art with Mrs. Samsel, we're gonna make this beautiful peacock drawing. We're gonna need a white piece of paper. I have eight by 10, a pencil, Sharpie for outlining, and watercolor paint. I really recommend the watercolor paint and some good stuff to get the amazing colors that you see with the greens and blues mixed together and the blues and purples on the peacock's body. If you don't have that, of course, you can grab something else. But if you do, grab your materials and let's get started. So to begin with your artwork, you're gonna to wanna to find the middle of your paper. We're gonna create ours vertical in this example. If you wanna do it horizontal, you can. My daughter did it horizontal a few years ago and it looked really beautiful with um, the peacock's feathers. Coming out, you just have to turn your paper the other way and find the middle for the head. If not vertical, find the middle for the head. So the middle of your paper doesn't have to be exact. I'm gonna put two fingers and I'm going to draw an upside down or like a, a curve, a C, a rainbow, and this is gonna be the curve of the peacock's head. So I didn't touch my fingers, I just went around it. And I'm gonna bring that down into a V and I want it to be the length from my finger to my knuckle. And your fingers are probably a little bit skinnier than me, so that's okay. And I want it to be on a diagonal. So notice my finger is pointing to the corner because the peacock's head's on a diagonal. If you're doing this horizontal, same exact thing. So I know here is where the peacock's head's gonna end. And I'm gonna bring that to a point. From there, I'm gonna curve, and I know I have the peacock's nose as a little triangle. And I'm going to copy in that oval shape. And that's gonna be the inside. And I'm gonna do one more oval shape copying for the eye. So just to rewind, we had the curve of the head down to a V. We closed off for the beak. We made a curve line all the way down to the beak and a small oval inside. The eye, we're gonna curve. So that big circle is gonna curve like two parentheses. And this is gonna be the peacock's eye right inside. And I'm gonna make a little square that I know will be white, and this is all gonna be colored and black Sharpie later, just so you can kind of plan ahead. So it's gonna be the peacock's head. Off of his head, he has a straight line and some circles um, on the top of his head there. And we're gonna go down and get his neck. I want his beak to kind of peek out a little bit, as you see in my example, so the neck will start in. So I'm gonna use about two fingers. I know that's again in. So I have the width that is two fingers. And down at the bottom middle of my paper, it will be four fingers wide. And I'm gonna kind of connect that in and for the shape of my peacock's neck. Now around it is going to be some scalloped edging, which are just some big curves. Now don't get too excited and do this super fast or else it's gonna look sloppy. You want each curve to be able to fit your finger inside because inside each curve, you're going to make a little circle. We're getting all those fabulous details. That's what makes a fabulous peacock. And we'll repeat on the other side. circles inside and then for the peacock's texture of his body we are going to continue with this kind of scallop curve and 
the same size, but we don't want it to be the same every time. If you look, and this is a little challenging for some boys and girls, right in between where it goes down, that one's gonna go up. So this goes down, it'll go up. That's where it's down, it'll go up. And then I just kind of finish out the sides. So think where it goes down, I'm gonna go up, 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 finish out the sides all the way up to the top. So that took some time, but it looks really good. And that details what's gonna make your peacock stand out. Now our peacock feathers are gonna come out in all different directions. So I'm gonna start by just having a straight line kind of come out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now yours might be um, a different amount than mine, but you still want to have them, those lines spaced out. So I have about three fingers. You might have four fingers in between each section so that you can really get the detail of the feathers. Now around mine, I'm going to have a heart. If you don't want the heart, you can do a circle. And on each one, I'm gonna do a heart and then kind of go and erase that middle section. And I'm not doing it at the edge, I'm doing it kind of equal, like arched around. All right, so now I have my hearts. I can go around and copy that shape and kind of hug around each heart. We're gonna fill the space around the peacock with more lines for the feathers. Now I'm gonna go around and I'm just gonna make curve lines hugging around the heart. This is a challenging step for boys and girls because they don't wanna do it all the way at the bottom. A peacock feather, um, if you get a chance to look at it, has a it's beautiful iridescent colors and it's got a lot that's kind of connected around this what looks like an eye in here and then a few little wispy pieces that kind of come off of it at the end and we want to make sure we include that so we hug one two and then let the little wispies kind of come around hug one two, it's okay to overlap, and then the little wispies. One, two, two, and wispies. One, two, wispies. One, two, and wispies. And I just drew a really cool peacock filling up my space. After that, we're gonna outline in Sharpie and we're gonna talk about finding someplace special to put our name on. So grab your black Sharpie and go ahead and outline your peacock. I'm starting with that eye because that's very important and I know I wanna color it in solid and bring my peacock to life. This takes a little bit of time 
I gotta outline everything that I did in pencil. All right, that came out really nice with the black Sharpie outline. Um, if you're like me, sometimes it gets taken carried away and I went through one of my hearts, which I came up with a little design by just adding a little tiny heart inside um, with some black detail. It's up to you, but anytime something like that happens, there's always a way to kind of fix it or solve that problem. Now that we have our beautiful Sharpie outline, we are going to come up with an area for our name. This is a lesson that's going to be used for our Art to Remember fundraiser, where we have our object printed off for a company. You can see the placement I have here, um, where one of the kids had it for their handprints. Um, the company, you could have the artwork printed off for a nightlight. And this one, which was uh, the same lesson, it just turned out so beautiful I had to do it again, are some cards, which is great for your kids to make thank you cards. Here is the company's logo on the back if you wanna Google them and look at their website. But with it, as a parent, it's always nice to know well, what year did my kid create that and um, keeping track of their name if you have multiple kids. However, they zoom in on the image. So if I write my name right up here in the corner, it could get cut off as you see with my daughter here at the top. Not a big deal, but just something for you to be aware of. So you gotta kind of find a spot to squeeze your name. I'm gonna squeeze it along here and the year along here. A good rule is to keep it about a finger space from the edge. So I'm gonna just squeeze in Mrs. Samsel in Sharpie, of course. And it is 2021. I'm gonna do that on the other side. Now we are ready to paint. Using that watercolor paint, you're gonna want to get your paint wet. That's why it's called watercolor paint. And I'm gonna start um, with the feathers using a medium-sized brush and playing around on the outside with some blues and greens. This is a cool color work of art. Cool colors are just that, colors that you would use for things that are cold. So blue for water, um, green, purples. So I'm just getting in some blue. Really trying to not get anything on the face quite yet. Leaving that be. So I got some blue around there. Gonna clean out my brush, get the green wet and go around that and kind of mix it. And I'm gonna create a pattern in this outside area where I'm just adding green and blue. So this is kind of a nice, fun, free paint, free painting. You don't have to get too caught up on specifics. Just be careful not to get it in on the face right now. So I did my green pattern. Now I'm gonna get some blue around it. And continue until the background behind my peacock is covered using lots of paint and a good amount of water so that it's blending and it's not scraping across the paper. Cleaning your brush every time. All right, let's fast forward and get that paint done. Okay, so I have all my blue and green mixed before I continue on, I'm gonna switch to a thinner brush. If you only have one brush in the house, that's fine. I wanna pop out some yellow and inside. So I'm gonna get that brush wet. Get my yellow. And keeping the inside of the peacock's eye white, I'm gonna just put a nice bright yellow around it and those little dots we created I'm gonna add some yellow and 
For the nose, you could use yellow. I did in my example orange. It's your artwork, your choice. But getting those warmer colors completed before we go back and finish up with the cool. I'm gonna stay with the skinny brush just because I don't wanna get it all mixed up with the bright colors I did. I'm gonna finish out some blue. Being careful because watercolor paints blend together. So getting some blue very carefully around the peacock's head. And if it does blend together, no worries. And I'm gonna do a darker blue around here. Going around the circle of the yellow very carefully all the way up and around. And then we'll come back and do the inside. Okay, so we have that nice blue popping up on the side. In my example, I did it green, your choice. And then in the middle, I'm gonna do purple. So getting that brush wet, getting my purple and layering it in there. finish out the painting. And there you have it, your painted peacock. If you have some gold at home, I used a little bit of gold glitter glue. You can put that on a few of the peacock's feathers and of course let it dry. Thank you for creating art with me as always. See you next time.